Hey. Hello, everyone. Uh, I will make a short introduction to your course, your new course, Handling Cash, okay? Handling Cash. Handling Cash. <clears throat> In this course, we will see three important things concerning cash. When we hear cash, means generally PT cash, bank, and some other payment methods. But for our course, we will only study PT cash and the bank as uh, elements of cash that we will handle and manage. We will say three things in this course. The first one, how to manage cash. Means uh, in which circumstances we will use PT cash to pay expense or to receive money or uh, customer payment paid by PT cash. And also with PT cash, PT cash, and bank also. Customer payments made by check, okay? Uh, or uh, direct deposit, and also customers' payments. This is what we call to manage cash, to handle cash, handling cash, okay? When we pay everything that we, uh, we buy, by PT cash uh, or by check, bank check, and also when we receive customers' payment uh, for any sales invoice paid by petty cash or by bank. Uh, to manage uh, cash means to use mini cash accountants, like for example, current uh, checking bank, saving bank, petty cash, etc. This, this is the first one. The second one, how to prepare or to make Deposit cash or cash deposit, okay? Deposit slip. Okay? For example, when you finish your day, after day, one day, two days, three days, you should fill out a statement called uh, deposit slip. Uh, I will show you some samples when I finish this presentation of these three elements concerning handling cash. The last one uh, for a deposit slip to deposit PT cash and checks uh, at our bank account. The last one will be the bank reconciliation. The bank reconciliation, okay? Bank reconciliation, uh, we will use a statement to compare what we have in our bank uh, accounting books in, inside the company to compare uh, with transactions motioned by bank statement sent by our bank or picked up from our bank website, okay? Normally, this is what you will have in the exam. Okay, the exam, we will give you a company with deposit slip model or sample, empty model that you should fill out. We will give you some transactions paid by PT cash and uh, checks. And finally, you will have model of bank reconciliation reconciliation statement in order to fill out 
this back reconciliations. Look, <coughs> uh, look, I folded something here for manage. This is for payment, for uh, receipts. Payments means customer, sorry, supplier, suppliers payment, customer payment. Also here, cash management in, will include also funds transfer. Do you remember this? Yes. Fund transfer. When, for example, we transfer money, funds from bank, okay, to cash, to PT cash, okay, we will uh, see also these funds transfer transactions. For all of those elements, we will use, for example, uh, for managing cash, we will use uh, money, we will do it manually, our all our practical cases we'll do it uh, we'll do it them uh, manually and also by using accounting software uh, here also to prepare the policy we'll fill out the policy manually okay and when we finish we'll do it by using accounting software the same thing for bank reconciliation we we'll fill out the bank reconciliation statement manually. When we finish, we go back to do it automatically by using the accounting software, okay? Generally, this is the syllabus of your new course, handling cash. Handling cash means how to manage cash during suppliers payment, customer payments, and also funds transfers. How to prepare or to make the deposit slip Okay, and finally, how to prepare the bank reconciliation. Is it okay? Good. Look here, we have uh, Specific objectives, okay? Prepare depositors, prepare the bank reconciliations, handle the PT cash funds. Sentence. Making deposit, recording the payment methods, preparing the bank reconciliations, funds transfer, editing the PT cash reports, and statements. All of those objectives are included in three parts. Managing cash payments, preparing or making deposit slip, and finally the bank reconciliation. This is what we call handling cash, okay? I hope this video will be useful for you. Thanks for watching and good luck in your studies.